Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a quick product review for the Vissel's wireless charger for the iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods. So this device can supposedly charge all three at once uh, with no issues. As you guys can see on the back here are some of the specs. So you guys can see if your device is supported, there's a bunch uh, that are down here, but it should work with pretty much anything with wireless charging, fast charge support, multi-device wireless charging pad, and Qi wireless technology. So this is basically like the more affordable version of air power. So let's grab the handy dandy unboxing knife and crack into this and see what we've got inside. I'm just gonna cut right here across the top and we should be good. All right, so let's slide it open here and there we go. So here is the uh, charging pad itself. So let's pop it out here. And let's see if we get anything else in the box here. We should get a couple cables. Yep, there it is. So we've got a pry tool and a, what looks to be an adapter of some sort and a cable, so we'll check on that. We also get a, a little instruction manual here that kind of goes over how this works. So we will have to read that or let's just wing it and see how it goes, but it doesn't look like it'll be very difficult. First, let's take this out of its little uh, protective pouch here and take a look at it. And wow, that looks actually pretty nice. It almost has a, it does have a pearl essence um, finish on it. That looks really premium. I really do like that. It's got these little rubber grips at the bottom so it doesn't slide anywhere. That is really cool. And on the back here, you get, you guys can see it does have a USB slot, which is fantastic. Uh, always good to have those future-proofing it. Right here, I guess, is for uh, that little pin in here. And this is for your Apple Watch charger. So let's take a look at this and see how it works. Let's crack this open here. And we've got, looks like a guitar pick, but it's not, it's just a little pry tool. Probably to get this thing open, I bet that's what it's for. That's probably why this has a little gap in it right here. So we'll check that out in a minute. This is actually pretty magnetic. This wasn't actually holding on to anything, so wow. Did you guys see that? I'm gonna do that again. That was crazy powerful. So, <laughs> that is awesome. So I don't know why I'm so amused with that, but in case you wanna see this pin here, uh, to see the quality of it, let's see if we can get that in focus, there we go. So it's pretty good quality. I'm sure that's not MFI certified, but it is nice nonetheless. And that is a really strong magnet. Wow. Okay. So here is the USB-C to USB-A cable, which will go, this will go into your own supplied wall adapter. And this will go into the back of the device. 20 minutes later. All right, guys. So that took me a little bit of time, but I finally think I got the cable routed properly. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and let's see how it does. So snapping it in on all the sides here. Looking good so far. This one doesn't want to seem to clip, but that's all right. So there we go. Got it all closed up. Got the Apple Watch charger right here, which is fantastic. So this is looking really good. So let's grab our devices and see if this works. So here is the finished product. You've got your Apple Watch charger here. Uh, you've got your little spot for your AirPods right here. You've got your input right here. And that's pretty much it. There is a little gap here on this one, which could just be a defective unit. I'm not sure. Um, but there is a little gap there. Not going to be very noticeable when it's sitting on a table though. Let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and see how it works. All right, so that was pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys again. Uh, if I unplug this and plug it back in, uh, right when this thing gets power, this thing does light up, which is pretty cool. So I've got a pair of AirPods here. Uh, so I'm going to stick that on there and let's see if it charges up. So got that in there. Boom. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So you can literally just leave this in your AirPods. So they consider that wireless charging um, because it can just sit there. So that is really cool. So, so as you guys can see, these are charging up. So that is perfect. Next up is the phone. So let's set that on here. Make sure it works. Absolutely does. Actually, that has a pretty big range. I'm impressed by that. That is crazy. On my other uh, charger, you really have to center it perfectly, but this one seems to work almost anywhere. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously the next thing to test is the Apple Watch. So let me pull that off and stick it right there. And boom, we've got everything charging up just like that. So this is pretty cool, guys. Everything's charging. This is a pretty slick product. Now, one thing I am noticing is that uh, my band is kind of pushing this thing up off a little bit. Uh, it's not a huge issue, but uh, I do worry if it's going to stop charging maybe overnight. Uh, if this thing buckles up a little bit too far, could just be my band, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that. But everything is charging up here. Um, this is fantastic. Honestly, I don't know why uh, this isn't being used more often because this is technically wireless charging. You would just keep this in your AirPods. 
and it really does not get in the way of anything. But you just set it on here whenever you're ready to charge it up. It's got a little light so you can easily find it. I really actually like that because now the heat is going to dissipate properly. Uh, obviously, this is going to get a little warm when it's charging this. This is going to get warm when it's charging the phone. And this is going to get warm on its own in this in its own little pocket here uh, when it's charging the Apple Watch. So honestly, this is really cool. I really like what they've done here. And it's for a pretty reasonable price. The only thing they could have done more is add in uh, their own power brick here. But honestly, if you've got a phone, you've probably got a power brick, so why not use it for this? So anyways, that has been a quick review of this Vissel's wireless charger. It can charge pretty much all of your devices all at once uh, with no issues at all. So check it out, links down below in the description. If you like what you see, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.